everybody, so I'm sure you've heard about the mysterious stones from the Congo where apparently if you connect a wire to the stone it just gives out electricity enough to light an LED and clearly to do with the marvellous things. Now I'm pretty sure you've heard about it because it did go viral and there's an awful lot of videos and photos out of there and they also sent them off to some experts to be tested to see if it was real or not. However, I was thinking about this and I thought well Given the nature of what they're doing, surely we should be able to put something together where we could duplicate that if it was real. So let's give that a go. Let's go find some stones. Okay, so I just went outside in the car park and found myself a couple of bits of quartz. And the reason quartz, well, we all know, Quartz is piezoelectric. If you go um, oh, at the beach, the river, or even a car park, you'll find bits of quartz. And if you strike bits of quartz together, it's not like striking flint where you get a spark. They generate electricity. So let me show you what I mean. See what I mean? It's together to show you they produce electricity. Everybody knows that they do. It's just nice to see it, but you don't have to strike them. They'll do exactly the same thing if you squeeze them. So if you just put a bit of pressure on those, they'll produce electricity. Problem is, they don't produce a huge amount because they don't store anything, but they do generate something. What we really need is something that would generate electricity and something that would store it that was a natural rock formation, if you like. Now, we do have this stuff. This stuff is vanadium diboride, and you can find this around. Uh, we made it using a thermite reaction. You can buy it, but it is stupidly expensive. Now, the energy density of this is unbelievable. It's, it's a topic of huge research because it's probably, I don't know, I think it's 11 times more powerful than gasoline. It's just incredible the amount of energy that this will store. And you can find it if you can open the packet. There we go. <laughs> you can find this as a naturally occurring mineral. There it is. So that stores a huge amount of energy. That will generate and transmit energy. So if we can put those two together, then I would think we'd have something very close to the African stone. So I was going to put this together and say all I've done is this, but then I thought, hang on a sec, loads of people are going to say he's hidden their battery, so I thought perhaps I'd better not. I'll just do it in front of you. All I'm going to do is put a bit of copper tape as a connector, so if there's our stone and we've got a bit of copper tape, and then we'll be able to connect to the stone. So one on that side. One on this other stone. There we go. Just fold it over so it doesn't glue itself to everything. Okay, so we've got our two stones. We're going to put that on there. Let's get a bit of our vanadium dime boride onto that stone. Put the two together. And then we're going to clamp them together. And I've just got an ordinary clamp here. So remember, we need a little bit of pressure with the quartz. So we'll clamp those together. There we go. There is our stone battery all ready to go. I don't know if you can hear that. It's actually humming. Which <laughs> That's weird. Okay, we're going to connect an LED to it, so you can see the LED, a little bit of blue tack, there's my LED, and we've got a couple of connection wires. <laughs> well, that's incredible. Okay, that, that's all there is to it. <laughs> well, vanadium diboride, incidentally, is made through a thermite reaction. It's aluminium, iron, and vanadium pentoxide. 
Vanadium pentoxide is uh, orange. It's that dust you see in Africa. A lot of their soil is actually vanadium pentoxide. For them, it's a pain in the neck because they have to sweep it up all the time. So it's really dirt, and so dirt cheap. The um, price of it, the uh, chemical, is really stupidly expensive. But to make that is even a little dangerous, very easy to do with the thermite reaction. And well, that's amazing. <laughs> so there you go. We've reproduced the African stone. So the first thing I want to do is apologise. I mean, I know that um, we've all got a problem and we're all looking for solutions. We all have a hope that a solution will arrive. The issue with that, of course, is it leaves the door open to um, unscrupulous people who are not above a bit of trickery. And of course, once you find out you've been tricked, you get angry. So you have been tricked and I am sorry about that and I hope it didn't make you angry. The whole point was really to show you how easy this stuff is. There were no hidden cables, there were no hidden batteries. All I actually did was lay a transparent PNG file across the video that was a glowing light and all I had to do was put that on the LED. So it's stupidly simple to be able to reproduce this as video or photographs. The only real thing you can do, of course, is test it. Now, the stones from Congo have been tested, and it turns out it's, um, well, it's trickery. So I guess we did reproduce the African stones because we reproduced a trick that simulates the trick that they used, along with the little flash and the light staying on. This kind of thing, it, it goes on all of the time so the thing to be really is a little bit wary when the solution looks too good to be true because the chances are it is anyway once again i do hope you accept my apology if you feel a bit tricked i'm sorry about that the main aim of the video is um not really to trick you but to expose trickery and show how easy it can be to do i'm going to do a few other videos explaining exactly what i did i hope you enjoyed this video Thank you very much for watching. Don't take it against me. Please like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications.